All right, Amy, we're making everything bigger today. Eyes and lips. Ding dong. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to do a really nice nude eye, make everything really sculpted, but it doesn't always have to be super bright colours, which is very strange for me saying that. So, I'm going to start with prepping the lid. Just close your eyes. A lot of people love a cream for this, but pencils are underrated. I love a waterproof pencil in a nude colour that I can just tap on the lids and it will hold everything on. So I'm going to do, I think before we start adding colour, I always like to brighten things up. So I'm going to use this nude pencil and I'm going to go into the inner corners of the eyes. And I love to highlight before I start contouring the eyes. I'm going to bring all of the lightness out. I'm using this nude pencil. The pencil's creamy, so you can just tap it in with your finger. Close your eyes. This is also a good time to kind of give you a little brow highlight too. This is not shimmery. I love a cream pencil. That doesn't have too much shimmer. It means you can do any eye makeup with it. Okay, so to sculpt these eyes, I want to keep this really nice and nude, but also light. I don't want to make it too dark. So I'm not going for a normal eye pencil that is in a brown, because they always tend to go straight to a smoky eye. So I'm actually going to use a nude lip pencil. So if you look straight ahead, I love using a lip pencil because the colours, especially in your browns and your nudes, there's such good colours around the eyes because of the warmth. They're also easier to blend. Always start with the eyes open when I'm trying to create a shape. That way you can see exactly where your colour is going. Basically, you're not going to get it right straight away. So dab and blend, dab and blend. I love to just keep adding more until I get the most intensity that I want. So once you've got your shape in, you can come in and you can just add more and deepen it. It's really easy. It's a little bit like a colouring book now. We've got our outlines and now I can just keep adding more. And you can already see the difference in the eyes. Just by starting the colour through the socket, it makes everything look bigger. Look, everybody wants a lift. I haven't met one client that says, make my eyes look smaller or lower. We always want a lift. So I think where I've placed the pencil is really important. Sitting it just above the crease here and on the inner corners is really important for that great lift. And we're just gonna drag it underneath. Now, you don't always have to go underneath, but I think it's so important when you wanna make your eyes look bigger to go all the way around the eye. I think if you just do it on top, it doesn't have the same effect. I'm only gonna use two brushes for this eye makeup. One is your blender and this one is our applier and it's also really good to go underneath the eyes because it's nice and small. So it's just gonna move the edge of the product. Sometimes if, I, if you go in with a really big brush here, you might end up dragging it down and it becomes a cheap product. So we wanna go for a smaller one under eyes because we're only blending just where we need to. Oh, look, I freaking love products that are just one swipe wonders. You can see that I haven't had to labour over this and go over and over and over it. It just works straight away, which we love. It's always good to step back. Sometimes we get so close to ourselves when we're in the mirror and we're trying to figure out our eye makeup, but you're not seeing everything. You want to step back, have a look, check that you've got it all even. Okay, so we've done a lot with just one pencil, but we've got to make this make sure this lasts all day. So now we're going to add shadow over the top obsessed with this eyeshadow. It's called Tete Tint um, and I love the tone of it. So you see that it's a little bit lighter than the pencil, only a tiny bit, same tone. When that shadow hits the eyeliner, it's going to deepen. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start with a smaller brush. This is my applier, this is my blender. Okay, so the smaller the brush, the more product goes on. So if you close your eyes, basically I'm just going to press over where I've added that pencil. Make sure it's nice and bold. I'm going to use my other brush here to make sure there's no product on there. I'm just going to blend away the edges. And what you get is a super intense colour there in just a, few, just a few presses. It really makes it easier when you've got that base underneath. Having the pencil makes it so much easier and it means that the eyeshadow has something to stick to. See how bold that is straight away. I love it. Straight ahead. I'm just going to join these two together so it hugs the eye. We want to get a little tricky here, which why not? We're going to grab this great baby poo colour, my favourite. Makeup artists love this colour. Normal people look at it and think, what the hell am I going to do with this around my eye? But this kind of ochre brown looks so good with blue eyes. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and I'm just going to deepen certain parts of the eye makeup. So I'm just going to deepen the outer crease because we really want to make the eyes look bigger. So we're giving, continuing that lift. Because we've got those layers on, you can see how there's no fallout. We're not worried about things moving around. Everything is just grabbing on. 
All right, so how do you get a contour on the eye or on the face to pop? You put something light next to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit of a nude eyeshadow. Just really could be anything. You can even you could choose shimmer or matte. We'll do matte today. And I'm just gonna pop this on with my pinky finger. And I'm just gonna take this on the lid just to make sure that there's a really nice contrast between the lid and the crease. And what that'll do is it'll just make everything jump out even more. This does not have to be too hard. You can use your finger. And where I really love to do it, just to make the inner corner stand out, I'm gonna use the same shadow. I'm gonna pop that over the nude pencil that I did earlier. And it's just gonna set that in place, like setting your foundation with powder. I'm gonna make sure that highlight stays. Yeah. And that is it. Too easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How was that? Did you give us a wink? Yeah. Ding dong. <laughs>